The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Being chased out left. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Second and 10. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Well, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. He's got his first touch before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Working from the gun, Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez scambling. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. My bitch. They'll throw now on the final play. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And that will do it for this first half. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. I know they're down, but starting the third quarter, they're the onside kick. What do you think? Well, I think that they're looking at it as we may not have as many possessions in this game as we want. There may be that sense and that feel, but they've got to go ahead and make something happen, steal possession, try and steal some points, and get themselves right back in a position to try and win the game. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Once again, it's Mitchell. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now Jackson going to shift them around. On third down, here's Mitchell. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Oh, they're changing this at the line. Fourth down, here's Jackson. He's got his run back out of the backfield. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That pickup goes for 25. What a flip of the script from fourth down to first. You have some, but to make them my flat on the hardest. Now it's Mitchell. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta let 
the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Jackson now. It's complete left side to Aguilar. And he is out of bounds here. That leads us to a first and goal. It's a pickup of eight. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now they'll audible to something else. Jackson from the shotgun. Touchdown! A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Ravens are able to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because... You've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Now a timeout called for by the defense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Tucker now to kick it away. It's the line of day. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. Go, go. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Their deficit is 11, 14 to 3, and needing to get something going here as they come up on first and 10. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Kyle Hamilton picks it. But such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's probably what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception. And a big loss here as he's taken down. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Here's Jackson. Checks this one down, it's Mitchell. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Big play coming here, it's third and goal. Jackson looking in zone but it's incomplete to give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football we're the second half that's just his second incompletion well if he's that locked in that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no hitter in baseball the pitcher may get the credit a lot of people making plays behind him in the field They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Justin Reed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, here in this third quarter, the whole complexion of the ball game flips on a dime there, CD. This is back to a one-score game. And sometimes when your offense is sputtering, you as a defensive unit have to take it upon yourselves to say, we've got to go out there, maybe take a few chances along the way, and see if we can generate some points ourselves. And lo and behold, they were able to deliver. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is shoving onto the field as they'll go for two. 
They're going to try and run. And they'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers. All about right? the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Back now in Baltimore. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Here's second and three. Now Lamar changing the look. Now Jackson taps this forward. Jet sweep. Inside the 10, mark it down at the 9. A really nice gain of 25 yards. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Well, looks like they'll move things around here. They'll run with Mitchell. And finding room to work, he's down to the 2-yard line. 75 yards rushing for him now to this point. From the two now, second and goal. Now Jackson taps his forward, Jack Sweet. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Zay Flowers, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Yeah, right now. Yeah. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Jadavian Clowney bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Remember throughout my career here in defensive coach, they always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Can I talk my... Come on! That other side, the Oakley way. 
Hey. C5. Can't nobody do me like I 